How did that happen? <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of SEO Fairy Tales. With me today is Ruth Mesfun. You are a software engineer at Zillow and you love leather crafting. Yes. That's an interesting hobby. And you also play board games, so that's uh, that's something that I can connect more with. But you have to tell me after this episode what leather crafting specifically is. It's an interesting one. Yeah, I'd love to talk about it. But we are not here to talk about that, unfortunately. Uh, you brought me an interesting technical SEO uh, case study where you had to investigate an issue. What was that? How did that start? Yeah, so what we realized was on our product page, it, uh, we weren't getting a lot of users staying onto the page, specifically the product oh. pages. So the product pages is similar to like, uh, if you think of like Amazon's product page or eBay's product page, where there's uh, the product and the information mm -hmm. and uh, all that stuff, and then they could purchase, mm -hmm. but they kept on dropping off. So uh, when I investigated it, uh, what I did was I one checked like where they were dropping off, like mm -hmm. in like Google Analytics and ah, whatnot, because right. um, it was also decreasing our SEO a bit, yeah. uh, and saw the like how long they were like taking in regards to load and whatnot onto the page. Uh oh. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I think this might be like a latency issue that we have. For real. <laughs> okay, so how did you find that out? So you went to analytics and you saw like you filtered for the product pages and you saw that they dropped off real quick. Yeah, the product manager said was looking into the analytics aspect, and then I asked if that if he could like deep dive on it, mm. and he like pinpoint like, oh, it looks like they're here specifically, but it's like it's that they're not clicking right. checkout or anything; they're just like leaving, and it it seems like there is taking longer to load here. I was like, oh, interesting. Mm. So when what I did was I used like we have like a lighthouse script, mm. so it will render the the page like as many times as you want. So it's like oh render the page five hundred times, <laughs> uh, just so I could like make sure the data is accurate because yeah. you know it, lighthouse kind of changes it's every bit, time. Yeah. yeah. So we did that for the desktop page and then the mobile view because that was that was the new thing that we had was it being mobile responsive. Ah, okay. So you yeah. made it responsive for mobile users, yeah. and how did that go? So what we realized was that the when we changed it to mobile responsive, um, we still had it was really sl much slower than what we had prior, where we had like a separate mobile. Like page for it. And so when uh, we investigated it, uh, we realized a couple of things. One, uh, that our plug, like we had a lot of plugins uh, and packages that was bloating. <laughs> Bloating, yeah, the the latency, the time, and we're like, oh, that I think that might be a big cause of it. There's like this hidden cost to it, right? It's like, oh, it's easy to build this feature if I just pull in these 25 different packages that do one thing each. Yeah. Oh uh, like, man. It's like, oh, this is e oh, look, there's like a bar chart plugin. Let's just use that instead of creating our own, right? Which, to be honest, usually is a good idea because just reinventing the wheel over and over. And then, uh, okay, so that was that the issue then? So there was a couple of issues. Oh. So, yeah, so that was one issue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Second issue. So when we have when we have a loading page or we're loading a specific part of the that page mm. specifically, we have like a. Uh, like a cute little like loading apple that shows us loading. Oh, that's cute though. Yeah, except that it was a GIF. <laughs> so, oh, that's not cute though. No, so uh, we didn't realize uh, that a GIF is like at least like a thousand images going over and over and over again. <laughs> so think about it trying to load the page while <laughs> using- While loading a bazillion yeah. images. 
Yeah. Ah, I've been yeah. there, done that. Because the, the loading GIFs are so easy to implement, but then also so not great. <laughs> The third one part was that speaking of images, we realized oh. that like we were trying to, I guess, uh, load the images instead of it being lazy loaded. So mm. it's trying to load everything at once, which is also causing uh, latency issues. True, so. because the browser only has so many connections. And yeah. then if they're exhausted, you basically just add onto it. And then this this waterfall kind of, oh my, OK. Yeah. So. so you had all these things identified. But to go back a little bit, so you said you have a Lighthouse script. Yeah. So you're not doing it in the browser where you actually like click on and then actually run it. So how does the script work? How does yeah. how do you do that? So yeah, because I used to actually do like the light, like press of the course. button over yeah. and over. Yeah. Like, this doesn't, this isn't. Uh, it's not a long-term yeah. solution. And like, to be fair, I modified the script, but I didn't create the script. Okay. It was like, shout out to Ben, uh, who actually did that. He was like, ah, oh, I think there's like a more efficient way of doing this. And he created it, and I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> so how does how does that work? Do you like run it as a Node.js script yeah. from the command? Ooh. And so what you do is you put in um, the actual page. So what we usually do is, there's two ways of doing this. So one is that you can put the link of the the page, right? And then you preface if it's mobile or desktop. Mm -hmm. And then it just runs through like as and you preface how many times you want it to run and it'll just nice. run it yeah. over and over, over, and, over and over again, again. and gives you like aggregate stuff. Nice lovely Excel spreadsheet so you could see all the data and then like if, if I wanted to, I could put in graphs and whatnot, which is great. Um, and the second part, or second way, which is what I did to make sure that latency did, or theoretically latency should dis decrease, was that you can put the uh, the main website mm -hmm. or the w main page, and then if you have like a branch site or if you have like a uh, like a, a testing branch, you could put that link in there. Mm -hmm. And so it will run both of them for X amount of times you want, and then you could compare the two. Oh, so it gives you the diff, like, mm -hmm. so the, the production side has this yeah. as our latency, and then we have the development or staging system yeah. that does look different in hopefully faster. Yeah. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. That's amazing. So you used Google Analytics, then used the Lighthouse script, and then how did you figure out which packages were or plugins were contributing? Yeah. So um, honestly, I forgot what it's called, but there was a a way to be able to see all the packages and how big they were on our page. I'm mm. like blanking out on it. Are um, you bundling with like Webpack? Yeah. So there's like the Webpack bundle analyzer or something yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 And so with that, like we as we saw like huge blocks of like unnecessary. Oh packages. no! So it's like of, bar chart, which is used in these five pages and actually measures like a megabyte or something. Yeah. So like <laughs> one of them was actually that it was like this huge plugin that mm. we just added that plugin in for a bar chart, and we were like for one page. Like I was like, oh, this is useless for us. So what we yep. did is we removed that and actually mm -hmm. built out the bar chart because that was actually much cheaper. Um, and then the second thing was uh, icons like uh, Favicon mm -hmm. or whatnot. When mm -hmm. we used like the same five of those of icons. those icons, and you have the whole <laughs> thing. Oh yeah, you can. I think is isn't it like a paid feature or something? But that's a paid feature that will pay off itself basically in an instant, right? Yeah. So we're like, oh, we can actually have create our own icons like mm -hmm. and utilize those and not have that anymore. And then we just reduce that. And then we looked at different plugins and see like, oh, we need this plugin. However, we don't need all of this. We yeah. just need specific. Lodash is also uh, one. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It has a bazillion functions, and you need five most yeah. of the time. Yeah, that's true. So you did tree shaking. Did you do bundle splitting as well, so that you had different bundles for different? Yeah, yeah that's that's a fun one. That's hard though. 
it was I okay so yeah it's hard but it's like I love KonMari so I love like things that okay this let's does not spark joy. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get that thing out of here that is awesome okay that's pretty cool <laughs> It's like, oh, let's, uh, can we simplify this? We can sim- simplify this. Uh, let's, let's get this out of the way. And were you able to actually drop the, the loading uh, time for mobile users then? Yeah, so we were able to, I think, drop the time by, what was it, 15% or whatnot, which All was right. great. Yeah, that's pretty um, interesting. And then it was like, we were definitely seeing, or based on what like the C, the mm-hmm. marketing team said, oh, we're, we're seeing an increase of people who are, are on the product page. Excellent. And I was like, oh, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> exactly, we made it better for our users, we yeah. made it better for the marketing team. That's yeah. awesome. And then um, for the GIF, we replaced that with like a, just like an I, uh, like a SVG. Oh, right, yeah, SVG is so much nicer yeah. for loading animations. That's amazing, but I guess you had to have like a designer do that because it, yeah. that's a tricky one yeah. to do, And I we guess. didn't want to do, we're like, we're not going to do a uh, GIF kind of style. We're like, whatever is simple, and if it's like three like dots or whatever Oh, but it want, used to be so a cute apple, and now it's three dots? It's like a, it's actually like a circle. Oh, okay. like a, yeah. It's like a spinner. Yeah, thing. it's okay. Right. We don't need a cute apple. This is just, the cute apple is great and all. You'll see lots of cute apples. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. Okay, giving up an apple, uh, an apple a day <laughs> gives the latency away, I guess. That's a, that's a nice one. Interesting. And, and you saw an uptick on, on usage and you saw that people stayed longer and everyone was happy in the end. That's yeah. awesome. Cool. That has been quite a journey, hasn't it? Oh, man. So is the script available somewhere um, or do you like publish it on a developer's blog or oh, something? That's maybe? a good question. I don't think it's published anywhere. I think that's all internal, but I could ask Ben if it's... If you want to do that, you yeah. let me know and we're going to put it in the description below. Yeah, yeah. I'll talk to Ben about that because I'm sure that they like you. He yeah. would be more than happy to do that. It's really, you know? really, yeah. it's an interesting tool. It's an interesting uh, choice and uh, quite an interesting tool chain that got you to 15% increase in performance for mobile users. That is really, really cool. How long did this entire process take? Uh, a couple of months, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. It was it's like, not really like a. Oh, yeah. This is, this is not like a quick fix. Like the quick fixes are the lazy loading for images. Mm-hmm. Um, it, those kind of things. It's like that's a, easy to drop in. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And even the the GIF one replacing that with yep. the like a designer has to to make it. But other than that, it's easy to like swap, swap in. Code, yeah. yeah. So those were like quick fixes. The <laughs> the bundle. The bundle thing. That's a yeah yeah. That's a longer longer term fix. But it's really really cool that you spend the the time and and see the results and that's that's i think what matters in the end but it's important that we mention that because people kind of expect these kind of especially performance fixes to be like a quick easy low hanging fruit it usually isn't right it usually yeah. is a little trickier all right Thank you so, so much for sharing the story. That was really, really cool. And uh, thanks a lot for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. This was so much fun. It's amazing. <laughs> it's, I'm so, so happy to have you on, on board. And for all of you out there, um, if you see anything in the video description, then it was published and you can uh, leverage it yourself. If not, let us know how you're using Lighthouse. Are you using the CLI? Are you using uh, some sort of custom script? Are you using it in the Chrome browser? Let us know in the comments below. And uh, thanks a lot for watching and stay safe and take care. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, fantastic. There we go. <laughs>